Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is Meek. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get creative with your own samples and why you should import all of your samples through GarageBand iOS's sampler, the audio sampler. You can do amazing things and you're not as limited, you know, as you are with just messing around with the audio file, okay? So I'm going to show you why the audio sampler is, you know, dope and why you should use it, okay? So that's the premise of this video. So let's get started. Excuse the audio change. I'm now using my screen recording with the mic on, okay? So I have here pulled up a loop from Apple Loops, okay? From our Apple Loop library. All right. Yeah, baby. Ooh, yeah, baby. Pretty interesting loop, okay? So if we double click this and go to settings, you see here you have all of these different options where you have gain, speed, looping, follow tempo and pitch, reverse, and you can change the transposition, you know, the semitones and things like that. When you drag in one of your audio files, let's go to our audio files. Man, what am I gonna be using today? All right, I got this from Splice, okay? So when you drag in your audio files and you double click, you go to settings, you see that you don't have all of those options. And a lot of people are like, well, how do I, you know, stretch my sample and things like that? Well, I'm gonna show you um, some ways you can do that. So I'm gonna show you how to get some of these features on your own audio. You can do that by importing it into the audio sampler. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute these things. All right, and I'm gonna bring up the audio sampler. Keyboard, go to sampler. All right, so here is our sampler, okay? So I'm gonna go to this bark option. That's where you import your options, you know. That would be the name of your sample if you had yours put up already, but it's bark, okay? That's the default. So I'm gonna to go to import. And I'm going to import OSB. All right, I'm gonna import that there, okay? I'm gonna just click out and then you just click out like that. So I'm gonna change my BPM to 160 because that's just, you know, the BPM of our sample. All right, and if y'all know the BPM, you can always run it through a DJ app or just, you know, tap to set the tempo, whichever is easy for you. I found it easier for me to uh, run it through a DJ app. And you get some for free. But, you know, tap to set the tempo is pretty cool. But if you don't got no rhythm, you know, don't overcomplicate it. <laughs> just get a DJ app. All right, run it through there. All right, so here we go. So here, you can play your sample in all different pitches, octaves, and all that. And it already slows it down or speeds it up. If it's lower, it slows it down. If you play it in a higher octave like C5, it speeds it up. All right, you could just do that. But for me, I like to edit, you know, the pitch and all of those things in the settings option. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. All right, so I, it sounds like that. So that's F. So I'm gonna record that. thing about this is that you can quantize you know your sample so you double click it go to settings you can go to quantization quantize quantize it to one eighth do one sixteenth let's see how it... okay that sounds good so let's go back into the settings option all right and we're going to take a look at these things so the speed now the speed does not speed up, nor does it slow down your sample when you do it on your own sample. On Apple Loops, it definitely speeds it up and slows it down if you adjust the speed. But this, the speed just changes the length of your MIDI. So I go there, you know, it just cuts out half of it, so. And that can be dope. That could be dope if you want it to be. You can loop that and you can have a whole different loop loop. Let's go back. Let's speed it up four times. See what it did? So it just changes the length of your sample. That's all it does. Okay, it doesn't speed it up or anything. So let's go back to settings. Reset all. Q. 
keep it like that. You change the speed by going down here to this window, transposition, and you change the octaves or the semitones. If I change it one octave higher, it'll be faster. <laughs> And then you see how I cut it out right there? So I would just drag this, you know, the end of our loop. And then I would drag it to five because that means that's four bars, you know, at five. And then it'll automatically loop it. There you go. All right. And then. All right. And changing it an octave higher or octave lower is the safest thing because it stays in, in tempo. So. Let me go to settings again and let's go lower. All right, so see that. Now let's go back to settings. All right, and let's just change the octave to that. All right, and let's reset all. So I'm gonna show you something else. Go here. All right, so if you want to reverse this, which is really dope, you will reverse it down here, okay? Reverse. You don't want to reverse in this settings menu because it, it doesn't, it's not, it's not pleasing, okay? Just trust me. See, and it's, it loops perfect when you do, do it in the audio sampler window where it allows you to reverse. Okay, I'm gonna show you a lot of different things. Keep up. All right, so here, say if I change the semitones. Now, the semitones is how you change the pitch, but when you change the pitch, you change the tempo. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make sure when you change the pitch or the tempo, you keep it on beat. Okay, so let's change the semitones. you go to the tap tempo option and you can just tap out the tempo of your song so I'm gonna turn off the metronome because that'll throw me off and I'm gonna go to settings I'm gonna go to tempo and I'm gonna go to tap tempo so I'm gonna play it right, let's go back here You see, now we got a perfect loop. So now all I got to do is change that to, you know, five because five is four bars. I know that's confusing, but after four bars is, is a full four bars. Then you want to loop it. And then now you have, you have your sample pitched up to where you want it. Perfect. All right, we got the metronome on. It's hitting every time the metronome is hitting. All right, so something something else that's dope is basically, so say if we go to settings, we're going to uh, double tap, go to settings, and we want to speed it up to times two. Say if we don't want the beginning part, da, 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 we can just change it in the audio sampler window down here. So you can change it here. You just drag this arrow over. Drag the other one over where you at. There you go. So let's do it. Even though it cuts out right there. I'm going to 
find a drum loop. And what I just did was change just the area that I'm looping, the section. I reversed it. So let's see, to turn it to four. sound a little old school all right but yeah so that's why you should drag your samples into the audio sampler and not just straight to the screen and things like that um, you can still do it that way but this is just I like this way I can just be more creative um, let me know if you got any questions I'm always open to doing other videos I love GarageBand and it's a big community of GarageBand iOS users and you know so check out my other videos on GarageBand as well I have a lot and thank you so much for watching yes this does apply to the phone okay thank you so much Bye -bye. update GarageBand to do everything that I did